Great. <clears throat> well, I'm um, just going to do this session here on how to use a thumb pick. Um, lots of questions on uh, from people on different forums how to use it, and and uh, so uh, and we got a, you know a couple examples here of the thumb picks. I've got you know, a couple Dunlops, the medium size and the large size, depending on just what feels comfortable. Um, what I want to do is start with a song um, that what everybody would know, and I want to start with the, the flat pick because I think that's uh, where we need to start with and see what you're comfortable with starting with, and how do you convert that over to a, to a, a thumb pick kind of playing style. So um, what I do is I'm going to start here, so you can see my <clears throat> the fretboard, the, the you know basically the fingerboard, and what I'm playing, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll move it over, and see, we can watch how I'm doing it with my my other hand. But I'm going to let you see so that the, we just go through the you know one of the, the kind of the verses in the chorus of the song you already know, kind of get familiar with how to play the chords, and then then we'll focus on how I'm doing it with my fingers on the you know on the flat picking on the thumb picking side. So um, <clears throat> we're going to do it with help. Um, so it's um. When I was younger, so much younger than today, never needed anybody's help in any way. But now those days are gone, I'm not so self-assured Now I find a gentleman in mind, opened up the door Help me if you can, I'm feeling down And I do appreciate you being round Help me get my feet back on the ground Okay, so now you got the chords down. Um, now we're gonna just gonna focus here on how I'm doing it with this finger here. <clears throat> so the way I'm doing it with this one is um, I'm doing a lot of back and you know down and up, down and up, kind of back and forth. And of course, on all, each of those major main chords, I'm gonna be starting with the bass sound. So when I'm playing a G G chord, I'm gonna be playing that E note, which is a G note, basically. That's gonna be a G when I'm playing a G. Um, when I'm playing the D string, I'm going to be playing that D, um, which is the third chord down. Um, when I'm going to be playing, let's see, when I'm playing a, a, a B minor, I'm going to be hitting that, this one here, which is the B, it's an A string, the second string, that's going to be a B, because I'm playing a B minor. Um, when I'm playing the C chord, I'm going to be playing that C, well, the, the A, which is on a C, will be a C when we're playing it, because it's a, we're playing a C chord. Um, F the same way. I'll be playing the D string, which is the F, which is uh, I'll be the quarter playing there, and etc. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that again and take a look at it. So, when I was younger, so much younger. When I was younger, so much younger than today. Never needed anybody's help in any way. But now. change that and I'll put on the the white pick it's a lot easier to see this one now <clears throat> and we're gonna look at it um, from this exactly the same chords 
And how am I going to do it? Um, there are different playing styles. Um, sometimes you can do it with, um, you can use the, the thumb pick to go ahead and just uh, be the bass note, and the rest of the fingers are going to be playing kind of the, uh, the, up, the up strings, basically, when, you, when I'm doing the, the, the flat pick. Um, that's one way you can do it, and we're going to look at it, and then we're going to do it where I just do it just with the thumb. There are two different ways to do it with the thumb um, only. So, and you can progressively kind of work on this. Um, so it's, um, <clears throat> when I was younger, so much longer than today, never needed anybody's help in any way. But now those days are gone, I'm not so self-assured. Now I find a change my mind, open up the door. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Shit, you be around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? Now that's why I'm doing a kind of a hybrid um, with. Uh, you know the finger picking and the uh, the thumb. Now another way is just to do just with a thumb, and and there's one way to do it when you're only doing it always down. Um, and uh, so we can do this again. And so I'm going to play it just with my thumb, always doing the movement down, but I'm going to play all the strings. Okay. <clears throat> so this is more than just doing that that bass note. As I'm walking along, that I've been doing with the note chords, I'm going to actually do. Uh, like I said, I'm going to play all I've been doing with my fingers just with this, with just the thumb. Okay, so we're going to go. When I, when I was young, so much younger than today, never needed anybody's help in any way. But now those days are gone, I'm not so self-assured. Now I find a change my mind. Um, one way to kind of, <clears throat> um, I don't want to cheap it to learn this, is to actually hold it like this. Um, you, you hold it with the other finger, kind of like you're backing it. And, and <clears throat> do it so that you're, you're going to be holding it like a flat pick. Um, that's a way to kind of learn it. So here I'm kind of reinforcing that hold and, and pushing it up so that I'm actually, like I am, I'm playing it like a flat pick. Um, and that can help you learn how to use it in a way. So here we go. When I, and this and this way you can actually go upward as well because you've got that push with the other finger that the, your index finger to push it up so that that helps you kind of learn where your fingers are so let's go learn it going up and down because I've got that pushing up here when I was younger so much younger than today be is to finally get it to where you're just being able to play it um you know going down and doing it and and this you got kind of a support way to to do it to back that up if you want to go upward um in learning how to do that but the goal is really just know uh know where your finger is know where your thumb is really master those those three top uh, strings in a way that uh you're able to know exactly where you are at any moment when you're playing any of the chords so it's um minor C C F G G E minor E minor C F G A minor
So hopefully that is, um, will give you some of the essentials of um, beginning to use the thumb pick. Um, they're not always that, um, you know, it takes a while to get used to them. They do have, they do come in a, um, you know, small, medium, and large sizes. Um, they do break easily if you step on them or bend them too much. Um, so I have, you know, I've bought a few of them uh, over time. But, uh, you know, don't try to, if it's too tight to your thumb, buy a bigger one. Um, that's just the regular, because you'll break it um, quite easily. Um, some people do like to, you know, um, chip it or cut it down or, you know, do things to it. Um, I just keep them as is um, and just learn how to play them. And that, that kind of works out. And just have a couple of them. And uh, then I go, you know, back and forth and doing the finger picking and all that. And it, it tends to work out. It, it, takes a, it takes a lot of practice. It's not something that is, it really is, you can't master it, you know, in, in a day or two. Um, it will take some time, but, you know, work on it as much as you can. Hope that helps.